people always ask how cold to make the ice bath or the cold water or the shower. You want it to be uncomfortably cold, meaning you want to feel like I really want to get out, but you can safely stay in. And that's going to vary by person yeah. and experience with it. Experience, yeah. With the sauna, it's the same thing. How hot to make it? Well, don't kill yourself, obviously. Um, be smart. If you're pregnant, you shouldn't be doing this anyway. Um, but it's very clear that what you need is the release of something called dynorphin. We have endorphin, which makes us feel good. It binds to these mu opioid receptors in the body. You have dynorphin, which is the terrible feeling that you get when you're in really hot temperatures. It's also the terrible effect that alcoholics feel when they are in withdrawal. You feel agitated, you wanna get out, it's really unpleasant. It's dynorphin binding to the so-called kappa opioid receptor is that's what you're trying to trigger. When you do that, a number of things happen. You set off heat shock proteins that go repair broken proteins and misfolded proteins. It also makes it so that later endorphin binds its receptor more strongly. So when you have this uncomfortable experience in the heat, you literally feel better in real life when pleasurable events come on. Uh, when they, you experience them. In the same way, I like to say this, that when you get into a cold ice bath or cold shower, the increase in epinephrine and dopamine is two to 300%. These are huge increases and they last many hours. This is shown, because uh, lately I've been getting a little bit of pushback on Twitter, that which is you know um, interesting place. Um, people say, well, that's just in mice. No, all the studies I just referred to are all done in humans, men and women fairly broad age ranges. So you want to be uncomfortable in the cold. You want to be uncomfortable in the heat. And this is why I'm not a big fan of infrared saunas because they only go up to about 160, 170 degrees. Infrared light and far red light of all kinds has been shown to be beneficial for wound healing, acne, skin, eyes. There are even guys now putting on their testicles because it can increase testosterone and sperm production. Yeah, hormone release. Hormone release. But in terms of the sauna, you want that strong heat stimulus. Yeah, and so, then that's when you get, crawl up to the 200 mark right. and so on. 